Welcome back, RBG family and friends. Today we are in the basement. We are going to discuss a seed haul. The first seed haul for the season of 2023. We are excited. We soon are going to be starting the first seeds of the season for 2023. We are so excited. This year I am going to be trying to start new things that we have not tried ever in the RPG garden. I am going to be trying to start onion seeds now. I have never had any success with them. I have tried to start, I guess, what do you call bunching onions or just like, um, I don't know the name of them right off of the top of my head. And I think I've had some success to a sort but I've never actually really used them I just let them just sit outside in the garden but I actually want to try actual true onions and I think the date for me to start them is mid to late January or maybe I might be a little bit late but we are going to be hopefully starting to play with some soil amendment soon so this is very exciting but today we have a seed haul here now some of these i purchased recently the bag that is on the left which is the white one i purchased last year when mi gardner was actually wiping out his store and he was having them on some type of sale and he was getting ready to restock his store for the new seeds of 2023. The right side bag is from Baker Creek. I started purchasing seeds from them last year. I gambled with them and actually I really like their merchandise. So I went ahead this year and purchased a couple of seeds from them and I like I said, do like their seeds. I love their packaging. It, their pictures on their packaging is beautiful, very vibrant. Their germination was also A+. Plus. Um, the only consideration with them is that, you know, their price is a little higher than what I'm used to. And my gardener has amazing prices. Uh, so that's why my tendency is always to go over with him but sometimes i steer away because you know some other places might have different priorities that you may want to look for now and my gardener is broadening his horizon so you can always shop anywhere i am dabbling into johnny seeds um, i'm looking into his online catalog and i'm liking a little bit of things that i see so look forward to maybe some more seed hauls as the season progresses so long intro to jump into these packages i'm going to turn you guys around and i'm going to show you guys what i got okay so we are going to start with the packaging from last year this is the mi gardeners seed haul now some of them might be like repeats from last year's garden um and it's just probably like backups of what i already have or had and i might be running low um or whatnot some things are just stuff that i might be intrigued i might have heard of one of my favorite youtubers um or homesteaders that are on youtube talk about them and now i may want to grow them i guess you know fomo and um i just went ahead and picked me up a packet or two and uh, now I might want to grow them on in my garden. Now, I don't have a huge garden. I grow on a very small scale, but I try to push my limit. Um, I grow in raised beds. I do not grow in, you know, in ground. And I also have a lot of pots. Um, I grow in my backyard, but I also have a front patio. And um, in my backyard is where I usually tend to have all of my vegetable crops. And in my front patio is usually where I have all my flowers. I also like to put flowers in my backyard to attract pollinators. My flowers of choice are my dahlias. Um, I don't have any of the tubers. At this point, um, we did leave all the tubers in ground. We had a very, very, very bad deep freeze 
here in the Bronx that pretty much sweeped across the whole country. And I think those tubers are no bueno. So we're probably going to have to be repurchasing them. Um, I don't feel horrible about it because they weren't really that expensive. They were pretty much like Walmart and big box brand tubers. So we're okay with that. So here we go to jump off to this it's pretty much a big packet here as you guys can see um i went ham because they were at a discount so the first one that we have is uh cinnamon basil i have never grown cinnamon basil and i heard that it is very fragrant so we're gonna probably go ahead and give this a try um, I have other basils. My basil of choice is Genevieve's basil here, and I grow it all over the place. Um, we use it here for pesto, but um, if we don't use it, I usually give it to my neighbor. Um, she's of Italian descendant, and she uses it herself. So I not only grow for myself, I've already said it already, I usually also grow for my neighbors. I love to share. Um, my motto here is this i just love to grow i have a green thumb and i just i just love it so cinnamon basil is the first packet the next thing here is cabbage i have never tried to grow cabbage i have a very bad uh what is it that white moth and she gets into everything yes i'm calling her she she gets into everything she decimates my kale like it's nobody's business so i brought the cabbage just to try this one is a danish ball head cabbage and this one here is red acre cabbage it's beautiful it's like red in the middle i brought savoy cabbage as well will this see the ground i'm going to try will i get ahead i i, I don't I, I don't see myself getting ahead but it, it's worth a try the problem here as well is timing is the key and since i've never grown these things i don't know if i'll get the timing correct and also fighting the moth is also another issue for me um mexican sour gherkins or cucamelons i've grown these i think for three or four years these things are so prolific you only need one plant literally um but i always make the mistake and plant like two or three of them and i have cucamelons coming literally out of my ears but they were so cute and they pack a punch these little things they're amazing a long purple eggplant i brought these as a backup i probably have one or two um packages but just went ahead like i said you know whatever intrigued me or whatever i feel that i needed a backup of i brought these also very prolific you only need one plant and it gives you so many eggplants uh, Rosa Bianca eggplants also very prolific they're very cute grown them before um, my family loves them um, basically my husband if not I usually grow these either for my neighbor or for my mother-in-law purple cone flower like I said I grow my flowers in the front I have not grown this one before but I would love for this to take off because I think it like I said not I think but it says it on the package is a perennial so this is like a once and done for me here in zone 7b so if I can get this to take off in one or two pots I mean it's a once and done won't have to plant it again that would be awesome Celosia, I hope I'm saying that right. I fell in love with this this year. That Well, <laughs> last year that passed. Um, I grew this and me and my husband just, I mean, it was gorgeous. Unfortunately, I only got one plant to take off from me, but the show that it put on, phenomenal. Once I cut the head off though, um, after it's seeded, it literally put seeds on the pot and it just seeded itself. It was beautiful dahlias like i said i brought one packet i don't know why i did that to myself i should have brought more um but not only do i grow dahlias from um tubers but i also grow them from seed 
and I have a very good succession uh, in both categories. And when you grow them from seed, it's like a, t a whole total phenomenon. I feel so like bold <laughs> and accomplished when I grow them from seed. It's it, you, you must, you must do this. Snapdragon, I got them. Oh my God, how many? Snapdragon, I got three packages. I got Apple Blossom. I got Rose and Orange Wonder. Now, I was not lucky to get these to grow for me last year. I started them. I tried to start them three, four times, and they just did not take off from me. I don't know what was it that I did wrong, but we're going to try again because here we just don't give up. You know, as gardeners, that's what we we have we have a reset every year and every year we just try again straw flower this is new to me i got them in about pretty much as many colors as, as i could grab them um i see flower hill farm nicole grow these and um i see another channel i forgot their names i can't get the name off of the top of my head that they grow them and um they're beautiful i would love to see these guys in person this one is purple red this one is silver rose. This one is a copper red. And this one is vintage white. So I would love to see these in person and to see how well they do. Oregano. I potted up. Well, I didn't pot it up. I seeded up a whole pot of oregano last year. And I'm hoping that the deep freeze that we had here did not kill it and it comes back because it's gorgeous. The whole thing grew. So um, it is perennial here to zone 7B. So hopefully I don't have to uh, reseed. But just in case, I brought a packet. Culantro, or as we know it here um, in Puerto Rico where I'm from, Recao. I did not get it to grow this past year unfortunately one year my husband was like very reluctant to get it to a seed and grow and he did this year i hope i can get it to do it the same i should have gotten two packages um i don't see the other packet but i only got one if i can get in if i did not in the other packet that that i did this year in 2023 i hope i did get another one if not i have to jump back into mygardener.com and make sure i get uh one or two more packages of these because these seeds are tiny the package says it's 200 but they're so hard to germinate at least for me leek never grown this i have was seeing a video recently that they say that they're um easy to germinate so this will be interesting for me um i got my hands on leeks i think it was not last year um maybe in 2021 i was able to make like a soup or something for my husband and he really really liked it my neighbors also like leek as well so it would be interesting to grow maybe like a row or two of these very very uh nice and if it's easy why not onions like i said my onion seeds uh that i have are really old um so here i have texas early and i hope i got the right onions uh for my zone because i really don't know too much of onions so you guys in the comment below tell me if i got them right uh texas early uh so i think this is a yellow onion uh red i can't pronounce that weathers field i'm hoping i'm getting that right this is um a, what is it a red onion or a purple onion all right we got big jim pepper we had a prolific pepper year in a 2022 i don't know if it was the warm weather but peppers out of our ears i still have them frozen in my freezer and we are just using them and they were they're just delicious amazing golden cow wonder beautiful yellow pepper amazing can't wait cubanel now we got a spicy this is boot bootla i can't pronounce that so you can see it here in the screen those i'm growing pretty much for my sister she like she likes spice what is this? Corona de Toro red pepper. 
This was really prolific in the garden last year and they produce very large, long peppers. Amazing. My husband was literally eating these right off the plant. Really good. This is the same one, Corona de Toro, but it's, it's just yellow. This will be new to us. I can't wait to see the different colors in the garden. I love to grow things that are lovely and pretty. Giant Marconi was another one that was really good for us. Did as well in the garden. All right, so now we have tomatoes. Now this I heard James Prigioni on his channel talk about it and he raved about this tomato, the mushroom basket. So I want to give it a try. There's only 25 uh, seeds in here, so wish me luck. Watermelon beef steak. This just caught my eye. So this is what we have. And this concludes this one here. I don't know how many I have here, but this, I went ham. Like I said, he was having his uh, sale and he was literally clearing out. So this was just last year. That was where my headspace was. So now we're going to jump into what I brought uh, this year in 2023, thinking about what I might want to grow, you know, with this mindset. All right, so this is also from M.I. Gardner. As you can see, this one is way much smaller. And his package also did change. These were more paper-like. These are glossy. So he is, as the years go by, he is upgrading his um, packaging, which is amazing, phenomenal. I think he's listening to his customers. Um, and he's just improving and upgrading. I've been with him for many years. And um, I've just seen him grow and it's phenomenal. Very exciting to see everything that he's doing. I'm very happy for him. So congratulations to him for all his success. So over here, I just, again, wanted to grow something lovely. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to say this one right. as Ananis Nor Tomato. Uh, read me the filth in the comments. I can't with these names. But this is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at the picture of that. It's just pink red hues with green i can't wait to see this to be honest this i'm just growing for its beauty <laughs> i mean you know we hope it's gonna be delicious but just just think about that on its vine i can't wait all right this one would also be new to us i'm not gonna try to pronounce it because i'm gonna butcher it but you can probably see right there and that's the picture of it. It's just a red tomato. It looks like it's going to be pretty big. Some chamomile because my husband has lately been taking up drinking tea and chamomile is amazing. Um, something to drink at night so it can calm them down and, you know, release any stress or all that good stuff. So I grew chamomile last year. I grew it again in the front, just in a small pot. It was nothing to be like harvestable because it was really small. But this year I'll probably hopefully grow it in a bigger scale. Giant Marconi, again, um, <laughs> these are just going to be some double packet, you know, uh, situations because I have a guy and probably what I had in the other packet. Okra, I went ahead and brought. My mom was talking about um, how she's making this dish that they usually do in Puerto Rico. Uh, it's uh, arroz con guingambo, which is what we call it in Puerto Rico. Okra is guingambo for us. Um, and it's just rice with okra and she has been loving uh, making that. So hopefully I can grow some okra for mom and uh, she doesn't have to buy it because it's better grown. All right. So my uh, future self, I guess, listened and I went ahead and got myself another pack of culantro, another pack of recao. So I don't have to jump back into migardener.com because I have another culantro. All right, we went ahead and got ourselves zinnia. And this is in the salmon color, which I think I already have a packet, but I guess another backup. My zinnias did not do good last year in 2022. Um, I don't know what it was. I couldn't eat, I couldn't get them to start well. And then the ones that I did get to start well, which were... I forgot which um, kind they were. 
they ended up getting like powder uh powdery mildew and i just had to just rip them out because i didn't want you know the company uh situations to pick up the powdery mildew so i don't know what it was um probably just not the right conditions for them okay so snapdragon again i just repeated every uh snapdragon <laughs> that i had over here because um missy over here forgot the ones that she had in her old packet but that's okay not a problem because these things are so tiny that they go so quickly so dahlia very good i picked up another dahlia packet so again don't have to jump into mi gardener to pick up another dahlia packet my asters i love these things Picked up a silver the last time, last year. He was sold out of silver. So I'm glad I picked one of those up. Black Swan Poppy. I, would, I had my eye on this last year. It was sold out. This looks beautiful. I can't wait. I hope I can get this to germinate for me. Um, they say that you're supposed to put these things in the fridge for stratification. Um, last year, I was able to get my poppies to Germany without it. Um, we'll see what I do this year. Another thing of cucumelon, because I'm just apparently obsessed with these things, or I just forget what I buy. <laughs> and muncher cucumbers, because I just love cucumbers around here, and I can't get enough of these seeds. So that's the haul from M.I. Garner, both from 2022 and 2023. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Baker Creek and we're going to see what we got from them because their haul is also a nice big one. Look at those. Look at those. Look at that packaging. It's just gorgeous. All right. So here we got pepper lipstick. All of these things are new to me. Pepper Yellow Monster. Look at that. If those things are the size as the picture, oh my word. <laughs> now, we have Pepper Criol de Cocina. That just sounds delicious. This will be for my sister. Pepper or Carolina Reaper. I don't eat stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Jessica Mix. These are Cox Comb. These are going to be flowers. King of the North Pepper. All sweet peppers. This one I've heard uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge talk about this for years. And I've been intrigued. And I finally got my hands on it. Arroz con pollo. Hopefully it won't disappoint. We got Celosia, Asian Garden. Can't wait to grow that. Oh my God. These things in bouquets. Oof. Albino Bonos Pepper. Can you imagine all these things growing in the garden? It's just going to be a beautiful, it's just going to be a color of rainbows. Cherokee Purple. Now, I do have plenty of seeds of Cherokee Purple in the M.I. Gardener version. Just want to give these guys a try just to see. I haven't had any um, luck with the M.I. Gardener seeds to actually get like a full Cherokee Purple in its like full um, size. So, I want to give Baker Creek uh, seeds a try. Lavender. Another thing that I think they say they need stratification. Um, I've never grown lavender, but just look how pretty this this guy looks. Leek. Again, just, you know, giving both companies a try to see, um, you know, if one differs to the other. Echinacea. Look how gorgeous these flowers look. I mean, I'm in trouble. I keep saying... I swear I have like, I don't know how many acres. Mushroom basket. Again, just giving both companies a different try to see who does who. Maybe we should do like a comparison. Stay tuned to the channel to see. I might put these uh 
to the test. Another different lavender. This one's Elegance Purple. These here, everybody loves. This is my daughter's favorite cherry um, tomato. Sun Gold Select. Dianthus Raspberry Ripple. Gorgeous. Another cone flower. But look how gorgeous this is. Green Twister. It's beautiful. Dahlia. Dandy Improve. I can't wait. Oh my God. So apparently I got two of these because I just, I was just, oh my God, I was just blown away. They look like candy canes. Rebecca. Look at that. It just looks like autumn. Autumn and a flower. This Aster China, it's gorgeous. I could have done without the bug in the middle though. <laughs> All right, this is another Dahlia. It's a mix, so you're surprised. Marigold. I just, I, I, I was just intrigued by the white. I can't. Look at that. It's beautiful. Again, another favorite of Jess from Roots and Refuge, Paul Robinson Tomato. She talks about it like it's nobody's business, so... Got to get my teeth into one of these. Marigold. An orange. It just looks like a pom-pom. I've never seen a marigold that looks this big. So I just can't wait. Tomatillo. I've tried to grow a tomatillo before. And I've done the mistake that probably, you know, a beginning gardener does. They only grow one. And then one the why they don't get fruit. It's because you need to grow two. So... Hopefully we'll do it right this year because I love salsa verde. And um, it's time to maybe make our own. And with them, if you buy a certain amount of seeds or a certain amount of money, I don't know exactly what it is, you end up getting free packages. So my free packages were bok choy, which I've grown here before. My sister loves and my neighbor loves bok choy as well. My husband will eat it if I stir fry it for him. And this one, um, I'm not going to pronounce the name, but there it is. It looks so cute. The little boy looks cute too. I'll take him. <laughs> and um, tomato spoon. That would be interesting. And that concludes the Baker Seed Hall. And also the seed hall in general. So I'm excited. This is not the ending of seed halls. Not that I need any more. Because you best believe this is going to add on to the umph number of seed packages that I already have. But I'm on the hunt for more flowers. Um, because I want to grow all things pretty. And I'm also on the hunt for determinant tomatoes um because something has put a little seed <laughs> in my heart that i want to grow determinant tomatoes i want to grow both i see a vision in me that wants to grow determinant tomatoes but i will discuss that with you in another video which would be the plans of the garden of 2023 but other than that guys this is the seed haul i hope you guys like this video and um stay tuned to future seed hauls future uh plans of rbg's garden of 2023 and when we plant the first seeds of 2023 garden of rbg as always guys we love you please like comment and share so we can grow in uh youtube and it will help our algorithm and as always guys we will see you on our next video bye